It's officially summer. That means we've got to turn up the heat here at Barlow Barbecue. This is our secret ingredient in today's cook, smoked chocolate bootla pepper powder. Bootla pepper has a reputation of being hotter than the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest pepper. Well, that all makes me nervous. But regardless, we're gonna use that in some extra hot barbecue tandoori chicken. On the pit barrel cooker, y'all. So the first thing you need to do for this cook is marinate the chicken. Last night, Martha and I put together our marinade, but we didn't film it. So Martha's here to tell you a little bit more about what we did. Now, of course, we will have a recipe for everything right down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. The first thing that we did was we made a dry spice mix. We used all sorts of cool spices. We used some cardamom, some turmeric, some paprika, cayenne pepper, all sorts of neat stuff. That's not even half of it. And then we mixed that together and set aside two teaspoons for our rub later on. We sauteed the rest of those spices in oil. And that we mixed with some Greek yogurt, some lemon, some ginger, some garlic. And we whisked that all together. And I saved about half a cup of that so we can use it on a sauce later on. But the rest we put over our chicken, and then we let it marinate overnight. Okay, we've got our two teaspoons of spice mix. We're gonna add it. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of sugar. And a whole teaspoon of the smoked wootla powder. Did I say that right? Yep. I'm a little scared of this. All right, we're gonna shake that up and put that all over our chicken. Here's our chicken thighs. Now these are bone in and we did remove the skin off them. Now we're gonna hit those with that rub we just made. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, let's get the chicken on. Now today we're using the cooking grate that comes with your pit barrel, as opposed to hanging them on those rebars right there. And we're just gonna lay them in there. We are cooking. Look at that beautiful smoke rolling from that pit barrel cooker. It's a beautiful thing. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna cook those chicken thighs until they hit an internal temperature of 165 degrees. What we're gonna do is let this roll and we'll check back in 30 minutes, see how they're doing. Y'all stick around. We've been cooking now for 30 minutes. It's time to check the chicken. Now I just looked at the pit barrel temp and that's at 300 degrees. We're getting real close, folks. I'll tell you what, let's cover these up and let them ride for just a little bit longer. All right, guys, we had a thunderstorm come in, uh, but it's died down a little bit, so I think we can go check on the chicken. Should be about ready. Check this out. A torrential downpour set us back in this cook. We've been going for an hour and a half so we need to get some temps on these thighs. I'm seeing 165 to 180. They're definitely done. Let's get them off the smoker. Normally, this should only take you about an hour to do tops. Here's some reserve marinade from earlier. We're gonna put some of that right on top of this chicken just to add another layer of flavor. You ready to eat this? I am ready. Let's see how extra hot this is. I think it's going to be extra hot. All right, here we go. I'm getting some heat already. I know one thing it is, it's extra delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hot. I'm going to take another bite to make sure. That is hot. Okay, it's a, it's a slow burn. It's just starting to build right now. 
Uh, yeah, that chocolate bootla pepper. Okay, yep. Still, still burning a bit. It's still delicious. It's still a delicious. Lot. This is hot. Try this out. If you're into some extra hot stuff, try out this recipe. We'll have it all right down below in the description <laughs> box for you. Mm. Thanks a lot for sticking around and cooking with us today. Yep, it's always great to have you. So we're going to say until next time, smoke them if you got them. And if you don't got them, go get them. That's right, y'all.